CDMX, Mexico City, everybody. Welcome to Mexico City, the largest city in all of North America that we are so excited to explore and experience for the first time, including, of course, eating our way through the city. And there's so much to see and do here. But first, we need to bring our luggage up these stairs. You can do it. Bienvenidos a la Ciudad de México. We are in Mexico City, everybody. Just touched down literally now. Well, maybe like an hour or so. Got our bearings straight. Now we're gonna get our first food in the city because hey, Mexico City is a beautiful city. It's the biggest city in North America. But why did we really come to Mexico? For the food, the vegan food, of course. So we're gonna explore our neighborhood, Roma Norte, and get maybe some authentic local Mexican food and probably definitely some tacos too. Come along with us as you see our first impressions of the largest city in North America, Mexico City. So first things first, let's cover the area we are staying, which is named La Condesa or Roma. It's a beautiful area, really hip and lots of greenery, a great place to be in. Another fun thing about Mexico City, where we're staying at least, is we have a nice little rooftop area and we have this spiral staircase to go down, which makes me feel like I'm a princess. You know, I'm going to start my perfect day and my perfect life. I wish, but it's still really fun. So first impressions of Roma Norte is it's incredibly green and there's lots of shade, which is good on a hot day. Although it's not too hot in Mexico City. Right now it's like 70 degrees or so. It's perfect. It's pretty quiet. I see some people moving around and cars coming by, but it definitely feels more like a cool, maybe hip or more residential neighborhood that I really enjoy so far. So it's safe to say that so far our first impressions of Mexico City are great. We love the energy, the walkability, seeing people and little businesses all over the place. And of course, we need to see if it passes the food check. So we're getting a meal, our first meal at Supercito y Tacos Veganos, which is like a little bit of a supermarket that also serves really delicious local Mexican food in a really nice setting, including beer, of course, and pambazo, a regional food, which is like a sandwich with this red pepper sauce on the outside of the bread. Messy? Really good? Food is really good at that restaurant. We had what's called, I think, a pambazo, which is like a torta, but it has like red dipped in like a red pepper sauce, which gives it that beautiful color and extra taste. It's really good, really salty, really flavorful. They've been through like cheese and stuff in there, and really affordable. I think each sandwich was only two dollars and fifty cents, which you know makes you can eat good for uh, a good price. But now we're just walking back through Roma Norte, checking out some of the neighborhoods, a little bit of the park, seeing the locals what they're up to, and the tourists that are. Uh, Talking to the camera, so anyway, so far so good. Mexico City, I love you. Another thing we've noticed about Roma Norte in um, Mexico City so far is that there's tons of green everywhere. This park is not the exception. This isn't the place you run to to find green. Kind of reminds me of like Singapore in a way. Obviously, it's a different layout. Mm -hmm. Singapore's more built up, but green is everywhere. Lots of parks and uh, lots of trendy, beautiful little shops too, which I'm a sucker for, even if it maybe has to do with like gentrification and lots of expats coming over here and like creating a demand for it. Yeah. They are really beautiful to but see. they are pretty. And there's also lots of like authentic, like Mexican places, like the place we just went to. Yeah. So, any other thoughts? <laughs> I agree with everything you said. Okay, so she's just here to just look pretty in camera. Good to know. So now that our bellies are full, we decided to kind of just walk around and explore the general area that we're staying in a little bit more, which led us to Plaza Popocatapetel. It's really difficult to say for me, but it's a beautiful little thingy right here, right outside of a really vibrant and green public space, AKA Parque Mexico. Check it out. Another thing I heard about Mexico City before coming is it's a city of parks. And there's this gorgeous park right nearby, actually Condesa and uh, Roma Norte. So this park is no exception to that, really beautiful. Lots of like lush greenery, it's very shaded. It makes you feel more like you're in a forest to walk around, just like a little park with some greenery. It makes you feel like you're brought back into true nature, which is a really good feeling. And for me, every city needs to have good parks to be a good city, in my opinion. So that's another little thing that Mexico City has a good first impression on me about. But food's most important, we all know that.
<laughs> so now that dusk was quickly approaching, we left the Parque Mexico and made our way to Agro Taberna Mansuro de Agua, which is really atmospheric and vibey. Daytime cafe and nighttime bar that we really liked. And to end our first day, we needed some tacos, which we got at one of the most iconic taco spots, Por Siempre Vigan Taqueria. They were so freaking delicious and amazing, and we also tried another local dish, mocajete. Alright, so that was our first actual day here in mostly Roma Norte, a little bit of Loc Condesa, checking out some parks, eating some food as you guys could definitely see. But today we're going to actually see more of a popular attraction, a really cool place, I think it's called Chalputepec Castle in Bosque, or like park. So we're going to do that and get to see more of our first impressions of Mexico City and just really try and get to know this place on a different level than just stuff it in my face, which is the most important thing, but there's more to Mexico City than just that. So do you guys remember this bar that we stopped in in the night prior? Well, we wanted to see how it fared as a daytime cafe because again, the vibe was so great and it was a great cafe as well. There's tons of natural light that comes through and there's beautiful decorations and they have a variety of different coffee and caffeinated beverages that give us the perfect start to the day. This area is beautiful. It's so shaded and green. It's like we're in a jungle in this, our city in the jungle. Right now we are biking through La Condesa near Roma Norte and it's so beautiful. It's like we're literally in the jungle. And it's not that many cars as you can see. Lots of lanes, so really nice. Definitely recommend biking around some of these pretty neighborhoods in La Ciudad de Mexico. Good vibes. All right, and now something I definitely knew I wanted to do was go to a panaderia, which is like a vegan bakery. Or not big, not vegan, but it's a bakery here in Mexico. And here we're gonna go inside Pan Gabriel and see que tienes por las veganas. Vamos. So we made it to Chalputepec Park, something like that. And now we found a nice little shady bench. Not shady, not shady, shady. But we're gonna enjoy some of this pan dulce we got from Pan Gabriel. I, man, I'm trying to hard my pronunciation. Anyway, Vanessa's gonna pull something out of the bag. It's gonna be a mystery. We have a lot of options. It's gonna be crazy. Two, three. Oh. Oh, concha. Yeah. De manzana, maybe? No. I think this is a chocolate one. Oh. So, concha, chocolate. Concha means like shell, right? In Spanish? Because normally it has like a shell shape, although this, this one, this is like a waffle shape. Yeah. Normally they have a swirl on them. They like the concha. So is this concha? Let's try it. Concha time. Mmm. Nice and soft. Not too sweet, which I love about pan dulce. It's yeah. sweet, but not too sweet. Some people. Ooh, what's that? How do I know which one it is? Oh, I think it's a strawberry. It's one. yeah, strawberry empanada or empanada yeah. de fresa. I think so. Say on there, but I'm pretty sure it's strawberry. Looks delicious. Let's jump in. Good? That's really good. Yeah. Okay, let's try. <laughs> and finally, maybe actually, because yeah. I actually have a lot of hunger. That's, That's pretty big. It's almost as big as your head. Yeah. Which justifies the price because this is, in case you don't know, pan de muerto, pan de muerto, sorry. Which, because we're in October, Dia de los Muertos is a pair, I can't freaking speak. My English and Spanish is getting all tangled up together. Dia de los Muertos is approaching, which is like the Day of the Dead. And it's a really fun, festive celebration here in Mexico. Crow agrees. And um, yeah, so they had at the bakery, a little expensive, but we still want to try. So we just ate the delicious pan dulce and now we're gonna actually head to uh, the castle. But along the way, we're gonna explore a little bit of the park. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a really pretty little pond, a nice little waterfall and super gorgeous. Really nice park. Bien bonita. 
So Chalputebek Park is an absolutely beautiful area with lots of points of interest to check out, including the historical Moctezuma Baths, the Ariorama, which is like an old auditorium, and the Fountain of Temperance, which I don't know if it's super historical, but it's a beautiful and scenic place to watch water come out of a fountain. Something else I didn't expect to see in Mexico City, in the park, are bamboo. And here there's a few different like clusters of stalks of bamboo. They're like a nice beautiful black color, but unfortunately, as always, people have like inscribed their initials to ruin the plants, which is a bummer, but I don't know. People will be people. So while exploring the park, you can see the castle looming above you because you have to walk up to Chapultepec Castle, which is a really nice scenic walk with more fountains and sculptures along the way and lots of flowers before you ultimately make it to the castle, which is the main attraction and even more beautiful. So we just came inside Chapultepec Castle and it is stunning, everybody. So massive, so beautiful. Can't wait to explore it. So even more than the impressive architecture, beautiful fountains and gardens, the views here at Chalputepe Castle are astounding. You can see the mountains behind you, that massive Mexican flag, the rest of the park, this lake, and the city. So there's everything so far that I want to get in like a, an attraction on a mountain, or not a mountain, hill, and a big city. Love it so far. So they have a beautiful staircase here and a nice chandelier, but what really takes your breath away is the ceiling, everybody. It is stunning. Whoa. See, look, everybody. Painting, that ceiling, this, look behind me. You can see views on this little uh, balcony with the flag and views. So nice. A great thing about the inside of Chapultepec Castle is it is a museum where you can walk around and see some beautiful artifacts back from you know, the history of Mexico City and learn about the history of the city and how it became the place that it is today. So we just read a lot about some interesting history regarding uh, Mexico and Chapultepec Castle. And now we're at this infamous, not infamous, famous, black and white checkered sort of balcony area, which has some good views of the city and some nice sounds of who knows what. So some more quick information while you and I are both enjoying these beautiful views and sights at Chapultepec uh, Castle, Bosque, Castillo, everything included. Is that it costs 90 pesos to enter per person, which is about a little less than five bucks. Probably about five bucks exactly, to be honest. And there's so much to do. There is a lot of different rooms, some interesting history we can read about too, like about how like Mexico became like the uh, country it is today back in like the 19th century, about Bonito Juarez, and um, all sorts of stuff. Get really nice views of the rest of the park, some of the city, and it has that beautiful black and white checkered floor that makes it feel kind of like regal and trendy, and has a beautiful sort of like stone. People say don't compare it to Europe, but it does remind me a little bit of that European influence, but still like distinctly Mexican. So it's really cool, definitely worth the price, definitely worth the money, and um, yeah, I just love places that incorporate history, views, and just really pretty sights, like the place itself. It's a really cool thing to just look at, so definitely worth it. It's my kind of museum so far. So Chapultepec Castle and Park is checking all my boxes as far as being a place that you should see and visit, which makes Mexico City an even cooler place to visit having great sights like this. Just when you think it couldn't get any more gorgeous, it does. So we're here on sort of the roof. Yeah, it is the roof of Chapultepec Castle. And look at this. It's like a beautiful courtyard with a nice like tower, a beautiful Mexican flag, like these columns and little gardens and flowers. It's so beautiful. Another cool thing to do in Chapultepec Park is to get bikes use eco bikey and you can kind of cruise around. Right now we're checking the botanical gardens. It's really pretty. You see lots of cacti, this cute little like mosquito pond. And then yeah, maybe we'll check out some of the areas of the park um, within our 45 minutes that you have for eco bikey per use. So cool little way to explore and take some of the stress off our feet because we walked around a lot today. So sitting and biking around is a little bit more comfortable for sure. DM 
Amex. Mexico City, everybody. So bye-bye Chapultepec Park. You're beautiful. You have these beautiful pillars right here. And you can see maybe a little bit of the castle in the background over there. It was real, but we gotta keep it moving. So I'm gonna be real with you guys. We were starving, so all we really did for us today is eat. And we stopped at Los Losers, which is like a Mexican and Asian sort of restaurant located near the park. And they have delicious food presented very well, such as these empanaditas and this taco, which has like a Oaxacan twist with some black mole on it. Really delicious and interesting. But we got some more food later at the Mercado Roma, which is a market in the Roma neighborhood. It's like a big open sort of food court. It's not that busy when we went actually, but we stopped at Gold Taco and they have a great delicious local food where you can see the lady like cook it and prepare it right in front of you and we ordered the tamales which are like one of our favorite mexican foods it's corn dough with a variety of different fillings we have one in a banana leaf and one in a corn husk and we also of course had to order some tacos and here we had a wide variety which were really delicious and tasty and a great way to end our first time in mexico city but of course there's a lot more to see and do here so check out the coming videos thanks for watching everybody peace